Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a new symbol for Jeddah Schematic Editor. Just open the program up and you can just close down this uh, log window, we're not going to need that. And the first thing we'll do is just delete the title box. You can do that using the delete key. I'm going to zoom in a bit with the uh, mouse scroll wheel and you can uh, see the grid a bit better now. Uh, firstly, I'm going to just add some pins. Just from the menu here, the add menu. Just going to stick two pins in for now, make it nice and simple. And you can also add various other shapes and, and lines uh, to frame your symbol. So I'm just going to take a simple box and put a box around it. There we go. So make sure you've got the selection arrow highlighted and you can double click on the pin and it brings up an edit attribute box and there's a few things in here we need to edit in order for the symbol to work properly. Uh, the first thing is the pin label. So the pin labels need to be unique um, for each pin on the device. So just call this first one positive and it needs to also have a unique pin number. The pin numbers uh, correspond with the pin numbers on the footprint. Uh, footprint is uh, how the device will appear in the PCB designer. So you would associate a schematic with a footprint and then you can associate all the pins so that the auto router knows how to connect everything up just by looking at your schematic. So I'm just labeling this next pin here, so it's negative, pin number two, and then the pin sequence is also for the order router, uh, just to, so it knows what order to connect the pins up in. So that's all the attributes you need for the pins. So make sure you've clicked on the background and you don't have anything highlighted on, on the device and I'm just going to add another attribute and you can do it from the from the add menu there and or you can also use the shortcut the keyboard shortcut which is AA or you can even just use the uh, the right mouse button on the background and you can just add attribute there as long as you haven't got anything highlighted so I'm adding this attribute to the whole device uh, there are three important things you need the first one is the ref des uh, this is a reference so it has to be unique for every instance of the device so that normally what you pop in is a, is a brief little uh, you can just pop like a, a name in there or something and then a question mark so it, it just lets the user know that you have to edit that to pop a number in And we'll just add another attribute there. And this one's a device. This should just be the actual name of the, the the integrated circuit or the device itself. So if it was an LM555 timer, just put LM555 in here. And we just call this one demo IC. And we don't need this to be visible. Really, you just need the um, the ref des, so you can quickly. Um, work out which which uh, schematic component goes with uh, which component on the actual PCB layout. So that demo I see that we just added it was invisible, but we can go to the edit menu and we can just make the uh, make all the invisible writing visible momentarily, so you can see anything that you've added, any attributes that are invisible. And then the last thing you need to add is a footprint. It's not essential if you just intend to use this with a schematic editor, you, you won't need a footprint, but the footprint is for using it with the PCB. So you can just go into the PCB library here, just open the application up there, and you can just copy the names of any of these components here. So here's a crystal. If I just copy that name there, and if I was to put that in as the value for footprint, the associated footprint for that crystal would be 
used with my schematic symbol. But I've got my own here in Jim's footprints. So it's just one I made earlier called test. So I just close that down now. So for the value, I'm just going to pop test in there. So when I use the auto router, I'll automatically generate um, all my components and connections. It knows what it's doing. So the next thing is to just highlight the whole device and edit and symbol translate. And this just turns it into a symbol. You can just press OK on here. And it crops it nicely for you. And then all you have to do is save it. So I just go to save and I'm going to pop this on my desktop. And the important thing to remember is uh, it automatically saves things as SCH, which is the extension for a schematic. But this is a, this is a symbol, so we need to uh, change the extension. So just pop the name in, demo I see, and then dot SYM for symbol. Just save that and close down. And there's the file on our desktop there. So we just create a folder there to pop it in. Just call it Jim's Symbols or something. And now we need to move this to where the rest of the files are in the library. So if you just search for Jeddah on your system, you should find something in the user share directory. Open that folder and inside of Jeddah there is another folder called uh, SYM or SIM. Just open up that folder, that's where all the different symbols are stored and they're all in uh, various different folders depending on their on their family, what type of chip they are. So to add things to this uh, folder we need to use the terminal as we don't have permission to just drag and drop things. So I just sudo mv for sudo move, grab my folder there off the desktop, drag and drop it in, it copies the path and I can just drag and drop the sim folder in, it copies that path. So I just press enter and then pop in my password there and it should copy it over. So we just have a look in sim there, just scroll about, there it is there. So you've got Jim's symbols there <coughs> and folders copied over. And there's one last thing to do, uh, we we'll go back into the JEDA folder and you should see this other folder here called gafrc.d and there's a file inside of there. We need to add the name of our library folder in here in order for it to appear in the library. So I'm just going to, we don't have permission again, so just type in sudo get it, which brings up the gedit, and pop the name of the file in there, and it opens it up, we can edit it now, but be careful because uh, you don't want to mess this file up, um, because then you're going to lose all of your uh, libraries. So we just need to um, pop the name of our folder in here with this pink writing. The folder itself works out the path for you. So you don't need to put the full path in. I'm just going to pop it at the top here. So the first argument here is the actual name of the folder as it appears. Because we pop the folder in the right place um, and it works out the path itself, that's all the information we need. And the next thing we pop in is the name as we want it to appear in the library listings. So I'm just going to call it my symbol just to differentiate it from Jim's symbols. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So just copy the syntax, make sure it's in brackets with uh, with quotation marks. Just save that, you can close all this down. And then the acid test is to open up schematic editor. Just close the log there. And just press I to insert a component and in the list there. There's a new menu with my symbol and click on it and there we go, new symbol. And we can make as many instances as we want. Thank you.